Welcome back to Done With Depression. Today's video is five things that I learned from therapy. So they're not really in any specific order, but I do have five things here. And I've been noticing that we've been getting a lot of views on some of the older videos that I did, especially the ones about depression and the my experience videos. So if you guys like those videos, I do have a playlist with my experiences in them and you can click on that playlist and see all the videos and I'll put a link up here, I think. All right, so number five, you have to ask for what you need. So when you're really depressed, it's hard to even do anything at all, but you have to ask for what you need. If they say, hey, we have an appointment in six weeks, that's all we got, you got to step up and say, hey, that's not going to work for me. I need X, Y, and Z. That's what I need. For me, specifically, I called EAP, which is the Employee Assistance Program, and I didn't get the help that I needed from them, and so I had to push and ended up going to Kaiser Hospital, but... Um, you have to ask and get the help that you need. No one else is going to do it for you. You have to do it and you have to ask for exactly what you need. Number four, doctor's words and prescriptions are a suggestion. So if the doctor says, hey, I want to try and start you on this new medicine and you're really not feeling it, you have every right to say, hey, no, I don't really want to take that one, or I'd like to try something else, or I don't want to be on two medicines at one time. It's a suggestion. <laughs> so at the end of the day, you're the patient. They're essentially working for you, and you are the only one that is going to be in control of whether you take your medicine or not. The doctor's not going to go home with you and make sure that you take your medicine and do all that so it's merely a suggestion but that being said they are professionals and so their suggestions are probably uh, helpful but if you really don't want to do what they're suggesting then you can get another doctor or just don't do it number three you get out of it what you put into it so kind of going along with the last one, sometimes they'll suggest a specific activity for you to work on until you see them again. And if you don't do that or you don't do it wholeheartedly and you just do it really quickly at the last minute, it doesn't really help you at all. They're assigning you these like homework assignments so that you can get better on your own and you can feel better. You're not going to get better by seeing a therapist once a week and doing nothing else the other six days. If you're depressed and laying in bed all day, and then the one day you get out of bed to go see your therapist, and you're not actively working on yourself, then it's not going to get any better. Number two, it is going to get worse before it gets better. So... For me, in my journey, I thought the hardest part was asking for help, but I quickly found out that the hardest part is really kind of setting your ego aside and actually looking into yourself and finding those defects or flaws, if you will, and being able to work on that without judging yourself and getting carried away in that. So in all of my experiences, it's going to get worse before it gets better. Um, trying new medicines um, is tough. Opening up in a group setting is tough. Um, switching a therapist and having to start all over is tough. Um, going to inpatient therapy. All of that, it's what you need along your journey to get better. But it's definitely not easy and it's definitely a lot harder than asking for help that first time and number one on the five things I learned from therapy is you hold the key to make yourself better 
So kind of going along with the other ones, there's doctor suggestions and if you're actively working on yourself um, every day instead of just once a month or whatever when you go to therapy, um, you can do all these other things, but ultimately you have to hit your rock bottom and you're gonna have to pull yourself out with the tools that they have given you. So the way that I like to look at this is there's lots of therapy and lots of educational things that they can teach you, but it's really just like your tool belt on things that you can do when you get depressed or when you're not feeling well that you can use to pull yourself out of. There's meditation and going on walks and breathing techniques and holding ice and doing all these separate things. But realistically, it's you figuring out for yourself that, hey, I can actually pull myself out of this. And I don't want you guys to take that the wrong way in that, oh, you just have to be better and you'll be better because that's not how it is but you slowly get all of these different tools and you get all these different experiences and different therapists and different medicines. And eventually you get to a point where you're strong enough as a person again to be able to pull yourself out of that. And it's not perfect and it doesn't happen right every time, but you'll get there and you'll be able to actively work on it and pull yourself out and um, see some of your warning signs before it really hits you so anyway i hope that helped you guys out some or you could relate to it in some way um, if you liked any of the five things that i gave you leave a comment in the bottom saying which one you like the most and i'll see you guys next time on done with depression